Hello everybody and welcome back to Felsbrunn. So first of all today what we need to do is go over to the chicken pen where we have loads of eggs lined up ready to be sold. So let me just put the tailgate down first of all and we'll throw some into the back of here. Hopefully we don't break any this time, that seems to be a good trick of mine. So <laughs> just very carefully pick each one up, lower it down, seems like very easy work but I could still mess this up quite badly um, and then we'll take it over to whichever cell point is going to be the best. I really don't know. Um, oh, it's kind of laggy. I'm going to move it around. Weird. Uh, right. Throw a couple of straps over there. Or one strap. Doesn't really matter. There we go. And we'll head out. So, the grass has started to grow. It's looking much better than it was before. Let's just take a look and see where the best price is currently at. I would have thought it would be somewhere in the northwest, but we'll soon find out. Um, 6299, whoa, grain mill, nice, and that isn't too far away, so it's actually sort of central, central map, stop zooming in, it's just over here, right, okay, so this is the place to go to, I am looking forward to getting a fairly decent price here, no, don't lose the egg boxes, 2323 for that, and Ali's gonna. Come on! Get out! Okay, they're not gonna move. 944. So they must be four boxes, must be 944 per box. That is a good income, I think, for, for chickens' eggs. Getting them daily is absolutely fantastic. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is go back over to the, the farm and hopefully. I either do some mowing or we'll take a job. It just depends how we're actually doing for equipment really, because I, I would like to do some jobs for other people with my own stuff, but we don't have much stuff, so that makes it quite difficult. Right, so I've just driven back to the farm and I have taken a look at the contract page. We actually have loads of jobs that we can choose from, but I've decided that the best thing for us to do is to actually boost the hay. £32,000, wow, that's probably a four hour job. Uh, yeah, because the horses have actually completely run out of hay, which is not good. And, well, the oats aren't a problem. Neither is the straw, because we have some more oats and straw on the way. But the hay is a big problem, because I haven't even cut it yet. So let me get cracking with this. If I cut this area here, uh, I don't really want to go too close to the edge, to the neighbour's field. Because if we drag a piece of mown grass into the hay, I think it tends to convert it over and then we lose the whole uh, loading wagon of hay, convert it back to grass, so uh, that would not be a good idea. That looks good, although I realised I was doing it wrong, I need to make sure I keep driving where the tractor has already cut, uh, but for the first time around that is actually impossible. So you have to bear with me. I think it probably would have been better to go around anti-clockwise, but even so, it doesn't matter too much. Okay, so there we go, we've gone around the field once, and what we can do now is continue to go around, making sure the tractor is always driving on the grass which has been cut. Uh, I will probably go over there, we have some more grass just in the paddock area behind, uh, but yeah, we'll prioritise this area first. So I'll keep at it, keep going, and we'll eventually have a lovely cut field of grass, and then we'll... Uh, Bring the tether in. If I got superpowers, I stop the clock. Be right here in this moment. You're all I want. If I got superpowers, I stop the clock. Wish I got superpowers. Okay, so that is most of it done. I might have missed the old piece here and there, but nothing substantial. So let's fold it back up and we stay back over to the yard so that we can go and grab the tether. Or should we leave it for a few minutes? Maybe we should do, just to uh, allow it to dry out on this side. Of course, if it was real life, you'd leave it for quite a long time to dry out. Um, yes. <laughs> um, 
think, uh, yeah, I'll give, it a, I'll give it a few minutes, although I don't think it really matters. We do need to get some more sheds for these mowers. Unfortunately, we can't afford it at the moment, but uh, when we do sell the horses, which will be fairly soon, uh, it's going to be quite a large chunk of money coming in. In fact, if I just show you, we have these currently worth 26,000. So, <laughs> I've not been uh, looking after them too well with the food, but that is what we're working on currently. I will hitch on to the tether and we'll probably do another quick job just to uh, play it safe. Here we go, we have the John Deere 7R. This is obviously going to be a very fast job to do. In fill number 26 we have a John Deere front weight as well. So let's head over there and really quickly get it cultivated. Okay, so here it is. It doesn't really need cultivating, I suppose it could be diamond drilled. But, yep, let's just start. Not a very wide cultivator, quite a long one. Anyway, yep. Get it done, I think it's about £700. It's not a very well-paying job, but it's just a bit of extra whilst we're waiting for the, uh, the grass to possibly not dry out. Just something else to do. And it is nice to drive the... Uh, yes, that's not right. The uh, John Deere. I suppose it's going quite deep, the cultivator. Okay, so a bit of a jump cut there. What I'm doing now, obviously, is turning the hay over, turning the grass over, to produce the hay. And my plan is to pick some of it up straight away before I even row it, just so I can guarantee that I have some hay to put into the trough. Chances are, the entire field is going to be hay, but you just never know. Because before, when I turned it over and rowed it up, I still managed to have some grass. I had a massive uh, loading wagon full of grass, which I think actually, I think yeah it does, the loading wagon still has grass in it, which is kind of weird. I could actually tip out the uh, the contents of the loading wagon, go over it with the tether, and then windrow it up and see if that makes it hay again. Kind of weird, uh, but I think it was just because I was going on the boundary of the neighbouring field. So yeah, we're going to keep going with this. I, I could actually even use the front loader in the bucket to scoop up some hay. That would probably work too. Okay, so there we go, that is everything done. It's looking alright. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is go and take this back over to the yard, 
grab the loading wagon, as I've already explained, uh, this is just to pick up a tiny amount, just to hopefully fulfill the requirement of the horses. Although, because we do have loads of horses now, they might take loads of hay, as it is a food product, uh, on top of the uh, oats. So, we do seem to have space in here. Don't worry, everything's going to be sorted out here when I get a new shed. I do need to get a new shed as soon as possible, and I don't think it's going to be too long now. Right, uh, loading wagon just there. I suppose I could have done the trick of unloading it and then heading it. I still can do the trick. In fact, if I just put it on the dirt over here, it could work quite well. Big pile. Okay, let's pick up some hay and we'll feed our horses. So, we need to make sure that is engaged. Lower down at the front. Please be hay. Yep, that looks like hay to me. Instead of grass. And it looks like we actually have quite a bit of hay to go at. Already a thousand litres. Although I can imagine they're going to take probably 20,000 litres. Maybe even more. I'll take all of this section just here, and then we'll unload. So far we have the equivalent of a bale in a bit. Which is actually alright, because that one full bale that we gave them before did last for quite a few days. Although there was only four horses. But this will still suffice for a couple of days. And there we go. Obviously it doesn't matter if it's not perfectly neat, because we are going to be rowing it up in a minute anyway. Um, this is just to be able to give the horses something to be able to live on, as they actually have hardly anything to live on at all. I am cruel. There we go. So the hay is going in, and it has been recognised as hay. Perfect. Uh, so we do have more grass to go out if we need to get any more, but I think this is going to be quite a, a bit for the, the coming days and weeks. If I just take a look here, I bet it's a very small amount. Yep, tiny amount, but still not too bad, considering it's the most I've ever had. What I'll do now is go and take this back over to the yard, drop it off, grab the windrower, make some lovely rows, and then hopefully reattach to the loading wagon and pick it up. And it's going to be stored in the loading wagon and also in the trough. I can imagine that the majority of what we have in the field is going to go straight into the trough anyway. So here we go. It's gone. Make some lovely swaths of straw. No, I said that wrong. <laughs> some lovely swaths of hay. There was pretty much only two options and I got it wrong. And there we have it. It does take a little while to do, but it's done. So all we need to do now is grab the loading wagon once again, fill it up and hopefully empty the entire lot into the trough. If it doesn't do, like I said though, it doesn't really matter. We can just keep it in there or we could sell it. So I'll put this over here. Oh, how much I l would love to have another shed. It's coming soon. It really is. Uh, no way am I going to keep putting it off. It's going to come as soon as we have the money from either a big job in a live stream that I do, or for when we sell the horses, uh, whichever one comes first. They're only £9,000 though, plus terraforming, so it's not going to be that hard to afford. We can technically afford it now, but I'm not going to throw away our money uh, unnecessarily, because although it, it would be nice to have it, it's not actually a necessity. We can still keep hold of our machines, 
without um, what we've done here, without <laughs> putting them in a shed. I think uh, what, what did happen then? Probably nothing actually. There we go. Right, so we have loads to pick up. I'll keep at it. Wow, filling up even faster than anticipated. We already pretty much have a full load. It's full enough to justify going over here. Uh, so we're about to deposit almost 22,000 litres worth of hay in their trough. Let's see if they accept it. I think they probably will. We do have a lot of horses. Yeah, looking good. Um, the fullest I've ever seen it. That's it. Uh, so it is 27,200 litres, and it looks like we are going to have more in the field than what they can actually take. So it's good news, because that is actually uh, some for the future as well. And we shouldn't have to do hay for a while. Unless we do hay just to uh, sell for a profit, which is not a bad idea. Right, I'll continue and finish the field. To finish off, we are going to have about 8,000 litres by the look of it. So we have produced a fair bit of hay today. That was the goal. Uh, so I think next time it will hopefully, hopefully be a live stream. Not guaranteeing it though, because um, of my current situation. But uh, yeah, with a bit of luck it will be survival and a live stream in the future. But if it's another one of these videos then uh, don't be too surprised. Right, okay, that's done. So we have 8,336 more litres to put into storage. We might be able to boost that up a little bit further. Need to get every little bit, although I can go over the top if I do go and get every single piece. I reckon that's almost good enough. Yeah, we have a piece over here too. And a piece over here. Basically, lots of little bits, which would be uh, avoided if we had the double windrower, or if I had a skilled operator on the single windrower. But that is good enough. 8526. I'm going to put that under cover, and uh, that needs to be sorted at another time too. But until next time, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.